Hey, 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 let's get into it, let's get into it. So let's get into Adrian. Okay, Adrian been on, she been doing about four or five videos a day. Talking about Ken, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when you get a post. In my community post, go subscribe to my other channel, I'm trying to get it to 500, really a thousand. But y'all don't even support, y'all don't rock with your girl like that, but it is what it is. The people that are over there, thank y'all for y'all support. But let's get into it. So Adrian talking about Ken, talking about Ken looks, talking about he ugly. You know what I'm saying? Talking about his girl and his wife or whatever he got going on is fat. And talking about that, um, he, he, he should be having somebody want him, and he needs to worry about his own wife and stop letting bothering her. And it's in this and that, but it's like the contradictory for me. Adrian, please, you were bonding this man all these years. You didn't care about him having a woman. You didn't care about how he looked. When you were dating him for seven years, you say, then you still was using the man to help you get a car, help you do this, help you do that, help you ride around. When you need to go places, driving his car around, you said all the men was good for for uh, was good for for was riding his car around. Then you talk about how you gave a man money, and, but he paid you back. So why bring it up if he paid you back? It'd be different if he didn't pay you back. But you also haven't got money from him before, have you? Have you? You have got money from him before. So I don't understand why is you talking about this man and all this stuff all of a sudden that you have rags, okay? Don't get too, uh, hum you know, you need to humble yourself. Don't get too excited about rags. It is a new relationship. What has only been, what, a month? Probably almost going to be two months. Or what this month probably going to be two months. Yeah, I just started talking. You know what I'm saying? Even though Ken is a hot mess and Ken been messing with you and he know he got a woman, he still was helping you not being a friend of you as well. So, and you didn't know him longer than Rex, okay? Yes, it's good that you found somebody. You thought, I uh, guess you say Ken thought that you wasn't going to find anybody else. Yeah, he probably did think that. You know, some people, that's what people be selfish and don't think that you will stop dealing with them when you find somebody else that want to be with you in a relationship. Um... But you found somebody that want to be with you in a relationship, okay? Hope it works out for you. But don't all, don't try to talk about the person that was helping you. Even though uh, Ken need to, you know, you didn't respect his relationship, and Ken didn't Ken didn't respect his own relationship. So I understand that part, right? But if you want to respect your relationship, don't 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 engage with Ken. Don't uh, re reply to his responses. Don't you know ignore Ken. You know, just say, like you said, you in a relationship right now. We, you know, we still be cordial, but don't be texting me all the time. Be, But you just want this for content because you love the attention and you love the kin is pressed about, uh, allegedly, about you having rats in your life and y'all moving on, moving on up together, whatever, and moving in together, which I think is a big, huge mistake because as soon as you move in with people, that's when the problems begin. It's sometimes it's best for people, some people, to be in a relationship with somebody to live their separate places. But it just is a here or there. It's just my opinion on the situation, right? It's just my take on it. Um, and then he was talking about the landlord not fixing stuff, the toilet going slow. Um, yeah, I understand that part. I get you on that part. Yes, he's supposed to fix the stuff because you're paying your rent and he wants his rent on time. Yes, that's the truth. I don't agree with that. I agree now. That's one part I do agree with now. And you have a right to voice your opinion if people think people try to play you if you don't. That's one thing about it. People don't like when you tell them the truth or tell them uh, speak up for yourself. They want you to just say yes, 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 and agree with what they saying when they doing you wrong. No, life don't work like that. So I agree with that part, saying something about the man not fixing your stuff right. And yes, if you paying the man his rent and doing what you're supposed to do as a tenant, he should fix stuff because it is better places out here. Like you said, but he did give you a place when nobody else did. But that still don't negate the fact that he supposed to keep the stuff up to par. It don't it don't negate the fact, right? And I agree with that part. But all the other stuff you always trying to blast folks, bring everything to the internet for content, which that's what you've been doing for all these years. Some stuff is just better left unsaid, okay? The man said he's gonna get to it, he gonna fix it, but why do a video about the man when he don't he don't even got nothing to do with YouTube? But this is you. This is you. You know, um, it's your life. You want to talk about everything in your life? That's your business, right? Um, what else? I feel like, like I said, does she just want attention? She's just seeking attention. 
And that's basically what's going on here. She just lo- she, she she loves the attention that she gets um, from these men, and um, she will never stop. She will never stop wanting the attention from them. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just that she will never stop uh, when it comes to Ken and uh, throwing a wedge between him and Rex and stuff like that. But talking about Ken when he was there for her when nobody else probably was. But that's either here or there. But Ken, if you want to keep on being a doorknob for Adrian to talk about you and treat, mistreat you, and even though I know we know you got a woman, you don't want to be contacting her anyway. So you, you you make it so you doing it to yourself, Ken. You got a woman, you don't want to be contacting her anyway. But um, she's laughing at you, and she loves the attention that you are giving her, and um, being impressed about her new relationship, basically. Because you thought that she would never get nobody, and y'all can keep on playing house or, or whatever, doing what y'all was doing. And now you can't do that anymore. You made impressed, and and all that good stuff. Y'all you know y'all take on everything when it comes to Ken and Adrian, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.